friends, this is Drea with Enlightening Offerings and I wanted to hop in here today and talk with you about my most recent crafting project that I'm working on. I haven't been able to get my hands into magic for the last few months uh, because of the holidays and a million birthdays in my household and life just kind of got crazy. But our extended family has the best reason to give us to be able to celebrate with them. Our nephew and his lovely new wife are expecting at the end of summer, and so I wanted to put a little treat basket together for them. Daddy gets this cool new mug, and Big Brother gets some go away I'm gaming socks for when he wants to be off of diaper duty. But Mama, Mama needs something extra special. And so I'm putting together a few of my own products for her to use to keep her feeling beautiful and pampered and herself during the next two trimesters. As always, I start with cleaning with my doTERRA On Guard Cleansing Spray and then cleansing the space that I'll be working in. And then I um, start crafting. This here, I put together a bath salt blend for her. There should be enough in here for two, maybe even three good solid soaks for her to enjoy. I did do research and make sure that all of the oils that I use are safe to be used while pregnant. And this is just some super relaxing, yummy, smells that she can really sink into for the last little bit of her private quiet time before that little bundle of joy joins us. So there's that for her. In this fun little jar that my mom gave me, I love it when people give me jars because I can wait until just the right project comes to mind to utilize it. So in this, I'm going to put my Baby Belly Balm, which I have perfected over the last six years since I was pregnant with my last child. And I used it every day and I did not get any new stretch marks during my pregnancy, I promise. And so when I find new mamas coming along the way and I have the time to do it, I like to put together a little jar of this stuff so that they can moisturize and nourish that very tender skin. And so I have melted down some locally harvested beeswax and some coconut oil, and I'm going to put it into the jar that I've already put the oils, the scents into, because I don't want to get the fragrances too warm or they will lose their oomph. So just pour this right in here. Awesome. And then you just let it sit and it hardens beautifully and turns into the most lovely, give it a little stir just to mix up those scents and your carrier oils. And then just let it sit until it dries and, or hardens and then it goes on really nice. It doesn't sit, stay super goopy. Um, I also put together this for her. Let me see if I can show you. How sparkly and delicious is that? So because she is going to be going through the rest of her pregnancy through spring and then uh, early into midsummer, I decided to use citrus oil, uh, wild orange, and a little bit of vanilla, and then lots and lots of good sparkly gold yumminess to go in that body oil for her. I also have this candle that I've carried around for quite some time, again just waiting, waiting for the universe to tell me that it's time to pass it on. It's this cute little heart with this fun little trinket on top and I get to carve in little blessings on the outside and then hopefully they will choose to burn it um, near where the baby will be welcomed. 
so as to set the energy for joy and health and protection and safety coming into the world. So I thought to share that with all of you and I wish you all blessings on this rest of today and I'm going to get back to packaging.